When the Raspberry Pi first came out, really the only way to boot it was from the SD card. We go way back to the Raspberry Pi 1 or the micro SD card for later versions. And that was it. It was meant to be simple. You just put the card in, you boot it up. Of course, over time, the Raspberry Pi itself has got more sophisticated. It's still simple. You can just still put in an SD card and it will all boot up. But now, of course, with the Raspberry Pi 4, the Raspberry Pi 5, you've got access to USB boot. You've got NVMe boot. You can boot over the network. There's so many different ways of booting. Now, on a PC, you might be used to going into the BIOS and changing the boot order. And that is something you can do on a Raspberry Pi. If you boot up into Raspberry Pi OS, then go into the config program, you can set the boot order. But also on a PC, you might be used to being able to select a boot device from a menu. Maybe press F12 during the boot, depends on the PC. You get a list of all the different boot devices and you can say, I'd like to boot from the USB drive, please, rather than the hard drive, the SSD, the CD, or whatever. Well, now that functionality has come to the Raspberry Pi. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. So what we're talking about is new functionality in the bootloader that brings up a menu that allows you to pick what device you want to boot your Raspberry Pi from. Now to get this new bootloader, you're going to need to update it. So you need to boot up into a copy of Raspberry Pi OS. You'll probably want to do your normal updates, uh, making sure that everything is completely up to date. And then specifically, you're gonna to need to update the bootloader, which you do by running the command sudo rpi hyphen minus sign update and that will go ahead and download and install the latest bootloader onto your Raspberry Pi and then of course you need to reboot it because this is a menu that comes up during the boot process and now when it's booting up you need to press and keep hold of the space bar and if you do that a new menu will come up that allow you to pick where do you want to boot from including you can actually boot now from the network from an NVMe drive and so on. Okay, so there you go, a boot menu just like a PC, a really convenient way to choose which media you boot from during that boot up process. Gives you a chance to play around with different versions, gives you a chance to play around with different operating systems for the Raspberry Pi, uh, just by sticking in a USB drive, whatever, and then booting from that rather than your normal default. Now, have you give it a try? Love to hear your comments. Uh, about it. Have you had success with it? Do you think it's a good feature? Please do let me know. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like Raspberry Pi videos, then why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.